Well, I am standing here at Jennerstown Speedway on this cold Memorial Day weekend here in Somerset County as the NASCAR Wheeling Modified Series made a return to the Big J as we did get the race in because there was some rain earlier on in the day, but we got the race in in ship shape, so you know what to do. Let's get to the highlights. After being in a holding pattern due to rain, we had two feature events starting things off with the Martellus Pharmacy Late Models after two heat races for the Late Models and the Stoystown Auto Records Modifieds. Zane Farrell started on the pole, but Jared Barclay in the 92 was forcing his way as he got around Farrell after battling him on the backstretch. Barclay would continue to extend his lead, but the last thing he wanted to see was a caution. He got one as Elton King hit the wall in the front stretch, taking a billboard with him. On to the restart. Barry Audi was on the outside as he looked to take the lead from Barclay. After being side by side for a few turns, Barclay shut the door on Audi in turn one. Barclay would once again prevail, pouring onto his lead and picking up his first feature win in the Martellus Pharmacy late models. Now before the big show, the fans got a look at the Stoystown Auto Records Modifieds. Opening night winner Adam Henry and Dustin Gursky were on the front row, but the start had the reset due to debris in turn one. Onto the restart, RJ Delapi wasted no time getting up front as he took it three wide. Dustin Gursky was on the edge of the lead when Mike Carlson spun out in turn one to bring out the caution. On the second restart of the race, RJ Delapi took the lead away and was looking to add to it. While teammate Doug Lesnar was battling for second, Mike Carlson spun out once again on the front stretch this time. With the third restart of the race, we had a new leader with Doug Lesnar in the 17 taking the lead from Delapi. While Glessner was enjoying his time up front, caution number three was upon the leaders as Dustin Gursky spun out in turn four. It was Delapi and Glessner again as the green flag flew, and the undefeated feature winner of the season, Tom Golick, got around Delapi for second. For the final few laps, Golick was poking Glessner's rear bumper, but the 17 prevailed as we had two first-time feature winners right before the guest modified cars went to the track for the second annual Jennerstown Salutes 150 in honor of the brave men and women who wear the cloth of our country. After a spectacular opening services to our armed forces, all 20 cars were lined up and ready to go as we took the green flag for the 150 lapper for the NASCAR Wheeling Modified Series. As the Modifieds went flying down the track, it was the 51 of Justin Bonsignor jumping out to the lead with the 10 of Doug Kobe behind him. Bonsignor took the win in the Wade Cole Memorial 133 at Jennerstown last May to begin the 2020 season for the Modifieds. Bonsignor had David Weger on his car. Weger was killed while serving in Iraq with the Air Force in 2007. All of the cars had a roof decal of a name of a fallen hero who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. 50 laps in, Bonsignor held the lead over Kobe, who was on his bumper the whole time. Then on lap 88, we got our first caution of the race for debris in turn 3. And a cool sight for Jennerstown fans was bestowed upon them as they got to see live pit stops in the infield, something that they usually don't see during our usual five divisions of racing. On the restart, Bonsignor rocketed to the front, but trouble on the backstretch brought out caution number two with a bunch of cars involved, including Ron Silk in the 85, Tyler Ripkema in the 32, and Eric Goodell in the 58, the points leader coming into the race. 100 laps in was how they lined up on the restart. Once again, the Bonsignor show continued with the 51 immediately taking the lead with Doug Colby behind him. Then on the final lap, Colby was in striking distance when things got a little interesting. Here is the final lap with play-by-play -play announcer Mike Lisakowski. Back to second position where he was early in this event. Canceled races due to the pandemic and now a white flag signals final lap. Kobe has closed in. Kobe making a last ditch effort for the win at Bonson. North slides the car onto the back straight. Kobe moves to the outside, waiting to strike the patient Doug Kobe. 
is now to the outside in turn four, but Justin Bonsignor holds on to win the Jennerstown Salutes 150. An incredible last lap of action. And for the second time in his career, a victory in the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania for Justin Bonsignor, fighting off the last lap challenge of Doug Kobe. Justin Bonsignor picked up his first win this season in the NASCAR Wheeland Modified Series after leading most of the race. And in victory lane, Bonsignor presented the trophy to the family of David Weger as it was not just a night for racing, but a night to honor and remember all the brave men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice from the Revolutionary War to the War on Terror to keep this great country of ours truly the land of the free and the home of the brave. And folks, do not forget that our five divisions of racing will return next week with a 75 lap feature for the Martellus Pharmacy Late Models. And let's hope Mother Nature is a little more nicer to us next week.